What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the match pass. Few people asking me about this, and I'm going to explain the match pass if you're a newcomer very, very quickly. And I'm also going to talk about the value and the premium match pass. So, you've got two players here you've got Lookman and you have Sabazloy there as well, who are going to be with the value pack and the premium pack. Now, if you have already got uh, a value pack or a premium pack before you will have to pay the full price it's 500 coins or a thousand coins for premium if you have never bought a match pass before you will get a 50 percent discount so your price might be 250 and 500 here instead of 500 and a thousand so the match pass gives you as you play the game it doesn't matter what match you play or what mode you play once it's online either against the ai in the events or against you know pvp against other users Gold and gold is included, so you can clear it very, very quickly. Once you are playing games, you will progress through the match pass. It doesn't matter if you lose a game 20 nil or you win a game 20 nil. You will just complete this match plus patch pass as you play. And you will eventually get your uh, 10 games played and get a four star, which you can get all these players here that you see and more. You're also going to be getting your experience points, your trainer programs. And the kind of biggest thing with the match pass, every free match pass with the regular one, which is free to everybody, costs you nothing, is going to be the five-star nominating contract that you get. Now, there's some good players in here. You can still get David Alaba. You can, of course, get Odegaard and Gundo, as well as a few other players like Cancelo that's in there as well in the new nominating contracts, as well as all the other ones that you see here, such as Sergio Canales and, of course, Martin, who is a center forward there as well in the Mexican League. So you can have a selection of those, whichever is five-star. The big question is, I suppose, with the match pass is whether or not it's worth upgrading with the 500 coins or the 1,000 coins. For me personally, lads, I don't think the match passes are worth it if you are looking to spend 500 coins. Like, I know you're guaranteeing yourself the rewards. I think that you have to be playing the game quite a bit. Like, to play 50 matches, um, to clear this, to get the value out of it. Now, if you buy this uh, value match pass, you get it costs you 500 coins but you actually do start to unlock coins back from it. So I think, I'll put it up on the screen, but I'm nearly sure that you get 200 coins back. So essentially for 300 coins, you've got the 500, which is the gross cost of it. And then I'm looking, I'm teaching maths now, but you have the 500 for the total, the gross cost of it. And you're actually earning 200 coins back for a net coin uh, cost is going to be 300. That's what it's going to cost. You're going to get your 50 coins back here. You're also going to get your 5 star with the level 20s. It's just slightly alternated here. You get your other 50 coins. It's 100, 150 there. You're also going to get your 200 coins and so on and so forth. That's going to be it. So it's only going to cost you 300 coins. And you are getting a ton more, uh, you know, XP and you're getting a ton more trainer points. You can see actually here what you get with the packs and the special players and stuff like that. There is a lot with this that you do get. I mean, especially here if you get the, the discount off. But the big question becomes is, is it worth the 500 coins or the 300 coins? It's the same with the premium one. I don't think the premium one is ever worth it, lads. Honestly, for the extra five star, you're getting a card or a player. If you are spending a thousand coins on the match pass, you are essentially only getting a very, 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 like, it's not even worth really discussing the differences between GP Alaba and the Alaba that's there for the five star contract in the nominating contracts. Like, you know, this Alaba is a really good player, but the GP version of Alaba is very similar. Uh, on the GP marketplace so it's not like you're getting you know world godly cards that are going to be end 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 game yes they're good cards yes you can play them in division one squads of course you can um but it's mostly for the trainer xp which I find the trainer xp is very very easy to to get um so yeah if there was like special versions of different cards in here I definitely would think that the premium to value match pass would be a different kind of story but one thing I will say as well, I mentioned it earlier as well, right? If you actually go into the events here, you can clear the match pass extremely quickly. So if you do have an event like the Golden Goal in there, you can, you know, as I've said before, you can clear this Golden Goal event very, very easily. You could, you know, you can literally just tip off the ball um, depending on, you know, what you want to do or how much, how good you are at scoring goals. But even if you're not good at scoring goals and you're just starting off, you can literally just enter into this as much as you possibly uh, want. And you can just, from the tip of, let your opponent score. And it will take you probably about three minutes to load up the game, match make, get in, concede a goal, and then you've your match pass cleared. So you could essentially have 20 matches played in an hour. 
and be you know be be going up uh, the match pass very very quickly and have the match pass pretty much cleared in two or three hours if you're just playing the game normally to have the match pass fully fully cleared and that's obviously when you do have a, an event like the golden goal in there or if you had a, an event like the penalties before but yeah onto the players themselves right if you are taking a look at the match pass as we go here we are taking a look at the players I don't, like, unless you're a Liverpool fan, this is just, you know, a, a pretty standard CMF. I know he's got 28 levels. If he had 38 levels, it would be different. You know, he's got flip flap. You can obviously give him uh, double touch and soul control. But, you know, why bother? A lot of the game at the moment now is that if something is going to cost you or take too much of your time to invest into a card, you know, you can just buy a card that has already got all this stuff. You know, if you're going to be playing Sabazlai in there in a centre midfielder role, like, you might as well just buy a player that has already everything that you're looking for. It's not like that there's a limited pool of players that you're like, yeah, I have to get this guy and train him up. You don't. You can just save yourself time and effort and actually just buy a player and just train him up, you know, effectively um, with, without as much investment or time, you know, taken into it. Pity with, uh, pity with this card that he does have such a low balance because the rest of his stats are extremely good as an attacking midfielder. That is where I would play him. Acceleration and balance are the big killers on this card as a CMF or as an AMF. Skills are pretty decent. One touch pass, true pass and weighted pass. Dip and shot, some good shooting ones as well. And on for the premium one, it's very, very, very hard to recommend a premium match pass because of the cost. But he does have a lot of nice player skills. He's got soul control, but no flip flap. Um, but he does have double touch. So you could give him flip flap and have a ball roll on this. I would definitely recommend if you are looking to start this game, I would definitely recommend to take a look at the match pass. Um in terms of like what players that you're looking at. And when you take a look at Lookman and Sabazilai, they they're not really cards that are going to be going to be kind of I think really, you know, like what's the what's the expression I'm looking for? They're not really going to be like uh kind of like tempting you to, to sign up because you can get players on the GP marketplace that are very similar to these, if not better for free you know for gp or else on the the, the three star or four star nominating contracts you can get a lot of good players that you know are already finished article obviously they're not going to have as many good stats or anything like that but i do feel like that you know any of the five star nominating contracts are good the one thing i will say about the five star nominating contract is if you do have your heart set on getting a specific player you do get the extra five star nominating contract with the premium one and um, you can see there that you have two there and you also get your coins all the way up until I think it's 100 levels. Uh, yeah, it's about 100 levels and you get your coins all the way up to them. So make sure that you are going to be able to finish your, uh, your, no, you're going to finish the match pass very, very effectively. Other than that, I think it's a very, very kind of no brainer that you just don't even bother with the match pass. Honestly, for a thousand coins, it's a, it's a 10 pack spin. I know you're guaranteeing yourself getting what you're getting, but trainer XP and also the you know the contracts are super super easy to get i mean you will just amass a lot of players that you can just release very very quickly that you're never going to use in your squad and just be able to get contracts and stuff like that so um yeah that is it for the match pass hope you guys enjoyed it i will talk to you in a bit